Dr. Mark Skousen is a professional economist, financial advisor, university professor, and author of more than 25 books on economics, personal finance, and investing, such as Economic Logic, A Viennese Waltz Down Wall Street, The Making of Modern Economics, and the completed autobiography by Benjamin Franklin. He writes an award-winning financial newsletter, forecasts, and strategies, produces the annual Freedom Fest Conference in Las Vegas, is the chair of management of Gratham University, and has been a regular contributor on Cudlow & Company, on CNBC TV, and nightly business report on PBS. He was recently named one of the top 20 most influential living economists. So excited to talk with Mark about the Freedom Fest. They envisioned a world where every person experiences maximum liberty in every aspect of their lives. Freedom Fest is an annual festival where free minds meet to celebrate freedom in an open-minded environment. It is independent, nonpartisan, and not officially affiliated with any organization or think tank. Please welcome Dr. Mark Skousen. Welcome everybody to Money 911, where we talk about health, wealth, and peace of mind. And today we're talking about the Freedom Fest, and I'm honored to be here with the creator, Mark. We already gave your bio in the uh -huh. beginning. We you know, make that fancy presentation for you, so I just want to dive right into it. You know, you, you were pretty inspired. This is a very neat event. I'm, I'm impressed. What, what was it that got you to going on the idea? Well, I guess it started back when I was made president of FEE, the Foundation for Economic Education, based in New York. So we moved to New York. Uh, we actually arrived a week before 9-11 in 2001. So it was mm. quite a baptism of fire, so to speak. Yeah. And uh, we uh, so as as the president of the of FEE, I thought it was really important to jumpstart FEE because FEE was the oldest free market think tank and Leonard Reed had started it back in 1946. And I thought, well, Cato and Heritage and Reason, they've all surplant, uh, uh, ex exceeded and moved ahead public publicity wise, had become better known than the, the original uh, free market foundation. So I said, what can we do as a new president fee? What can we do to jumpstart this? And I thought, well, let's have a national convention and let's invite all the free market think tanks and their supporters and make it a retail conference. I mean, you know, Heritage had had the resource bank for many years, and but those were for uh, organizations, not for the retail customer, not for the freedom fighter. Right. Um, and so my idea was to put together this conference uh, and we uh, for, we attracted 850 people the very first year. We had Ben Stein as our keynote speaker. We called it Fee Fest. It was very successful. Uh, but uh, as president of Fee, that they wanted more than that. They wanted me to be a big fundraiser and all this sort of right. thing. And that's not. I, I it turns out that I'm a terrible fundraiser. I just <laughs> people run when they see me coming. So and. But we, I love the idea of it was a very successful conference. And I thought, you know, we're we're losing this battle for freedom slowly but surely. I kind of I kind of see it as as, you know, the that room in uh, Star Wars, which uh, it kept collapsing on both sides. Right. Right. And our liberties are like that. More yes. and more, everything is either being prohibited or mandated. So you have the prohibitions and the mandates on each side, and they're squeezing us. And I kept thinking to myself, how can we turn this around? And I thought the best way is to have a national convention. So in 2007, we started the uh, Freedom Fest. So same kind of title, but it's a for-profit event. So we don't do any fundraising. You pay your fee to come to the conference. 
You're there to learn, network, socialize, and celebrate liberty. We bring together philosophers, authors, professors, economists, politicians, legislators, healthcare living, uh, uh, healthy living experts, uh, geopolitics. We we cover a little bit of everything: science and technology, uh, history. Uh, it's it's really a renaissance gathering, if you will, where it's not just politics, it's not just economics, but it's uh, all aspects of a liberal liberal arts education, if you will, literature, so forth. We even had we even had a session one time on bird watching. It didn't <laughs> get a particularly big turnout, but I thought, gee, this is this is really kind of cool. So we had this person yeah. from from. Uh, the Nevada Bird Watching Association, who came in and had her calls and had pictures, and it was really wonderful. But only twelve people showed up. Oh. Our 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 events are much more exciting than the twelve people showing up. Uh, and it it is it is a it really is a, a blast, if you will. I mean, people right. we have people coming back every year because we create a really unique atmosphere. Uh, fun and entertainment and education all together. Uh, we have 10 breakout sessions. So you have plenty to choose from. Nobody's ever bored at Freedom Fest. Nobody's ever saying, oh, there's nothing to do here. And we have a huge exhibit hall, which uh, John Mackey of Whole Foods calls the trade show for liberty, 150 exhibitors this year. We're in Memphis this year, right. which is the soul of liberty and rock and roll and uh, jazz. That's right. Well, on Beale Street, uh, Elvis's Graceland. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's also the center for FedEx, FedEx. And uh, right. so there's there's quite a bit going on there that make it a really interesting town. We have we'll probably have a couple thousand people there. We have fifteen hundred right now. And the last week or so, we always get about five hundred people showing up. So uh, we'll be over two thousand this year. And it really is a great event. We have Mike Rowe is our keynote speaker. You always have a celebrity speaker. Right. So we've had uh, William Shatner before, George Foreman. Uh, we had Kevin O'Leary of Shark Tank. Uh, last year, we had John Cleese, the British comedian. And this year, we have uh, Mike Rowe of uh, Dirty Jobs right. uh, TV series. And he has 5 million followers on Facebook. So... He is really yeah. excited about coming to Freedom Fest. He's going to attend all three days. Fabulous. So uh, I don't know when this is going to air, but if people go to freedomfest.com, they can uh, join our group uh, July 12th through the 15th. And we just added, believe it or not, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is coming. Right. Uh, the Kennedy mystique is still alive, and we're going yeah. to hear him uh, lecture along with uh, Larry Elder and... Uh, uh, Vi uh, Vivek uh, Ramaswamy, the British or the uh, businessman from Wall Street, is also going to. You know, we have several presidential candidates from all of both Democrats, Republicans, and uh, and libertarians coming to our conference. So we're we're pretty thrilled uh, with what we're putting together here. It's fabulous, and th that it reaffirms the belief in in the power of liberty and being able to have a gathering and have conversation. Like we don't have to agree; we can all talk right freely. It's it's really exciting, and you you even have um, a comedy festival. You do you do a, you, what the Eureka Summer Summit, right? Which is for entrepreneurs. You have like downloads for a lot of things. It's it's fabulous. I found out about you through Jeffrey Hazlett from C-Suite, which is where this oh, yeah. show is being broadcast from. And yeah, no, he's great. Yeah. Yeah, and, and by the way, we also yeah. have a very popular film festival called the Anthem Film Festival. Yes, yes. And I mean, uh, we're actually showing Unredacted, which is uh, on Wednesday night. Ooh. That's the film that was uh, canceled at Sundance and South by Southwest, uh, oh, cool. people were uh, saying, well, it was anti-Muslim or anti-Islamic, uh, which is ridiculous. It was very much, it, the whole thing is about Guantanamo Bay and how these people were mistreated. And I don't know how the Islamic community could 
look down on this, except it was a white woman who who produced the film and started objecting. And it's just silliness. So we're we're going to show that film, and we're we're excited about uh, uh, the uh, Anthem Film Festival. She, my wife Joanne, uh, handles that. She's really a, a film buff, and she has thirty two films, uh, wow. short, long films, narrated in documentaries. Uh, it'll really be a lot of fun. A lot of people love to go to the movies. And then afterwards, she has these panel debates and discussions about the film with the, the film directors and producers. Fabulous. That is so good. You know, there's so much. And I know we have a limited amount of time, but you this the Subversion Summit, right? That's an integral part of everything you're doing. And it challenges conventional thinking and pushes the boundaries a little bit of personal and right societal freedom and all of those yeah things. we're we, we have a in, in the uh subversion summit we have a lot of debates and so forth uh, about drug legalization for example marijuana should that was that a good idea uh to legalize marijuana uh we're going to have an open borders debate in fact that's our mock trial a mock trial is our most popular event where which is a debate but it's in the form of a trial like a perry mason trial so we have a judge uh yeah we have a judge we have michael Shermer, who's going to be the judge this year he's the editor publisher of skeptic magazine <laughs> and the, the topic that we're going to debate is is open borders so we have larry elder uh, uh criticizing open borders so he's the prosecuting attorney and the right. defending attorney is catherine bernard who's a uh, uh civil rights defender in from atlanta and so uh She's Good going to deal. defend uh, the illegal immigrants who co come across the country. Millions and, then and millions. Our witnesses. We have a uh, we have uh, twelve members of the local audience who come up and they're part of the jury, oh, and they wow. get to vote. Majority rules who who wins, and that's that's always a lot of uh, a lot of fun. So that that's, that's kind of the highlight on Friday. But with that's Robert F. Kennedy coming now, yeah. we're creating quite a bit of buzz because, you know, he's a mixed bag in terms of his views. Right. He's He's got some very uh, unusual views on, on vaccines and uh, right. the lockdowns and so forth. So uh, he's been heavily criticized by his own family, but he's running for president. He's the first time we've had a Democratic candidate uh, at Freedom Fest. We've always had Republicans come in the past. Um, and of course, lots of libertarians as well. So that, that we're really looking forward to that. You know, this this is amazing. I, I I do wish I would be there in July, but we do want to note that you're gonna you know you do this every year, right? right? Maybe you're gonna be doing one in Vegas, maybe That's teasing correct. it out so, a little bit, right? Yeah. So next. Uh, uh, so every, we do it every every other year we do it in Vegas and then then we go to another city. So uh, a year ago, two years ago, we were in South Dakota at Mount Rushmore and we had a big turnout oh, for that. Nice. And then we went back to Vegas to the Mirage Hotel and now we're in Memphis and then we'll go back to the Mirage, which is being converted to the Hard Rock Cafe, a brand new hotel. So uh, we'll be doing that and. Uh, we will the dates for that are july 10th through the 13th we're, we're always the week after the july 4th weekend we want you know people have liberty on their mind and it's a great time to continue that that uh, spirit of liberty at freedom fest uh, we have confirmed tom woods of the tom woods show is going to be speaking he hasn't been to freedom fest in 10 years Wow. So we finally uh, got him and we'll have another big celebrity speaker. We don't know who it's going to be, but uh, we're expecting a big crowd on uh, on uh, next year. But this is this is something everybody's got to just put on their calendar as the go to because it has everything in it. You even you even promote economic freedom and maybe tell us a little bit about the knowledge and resources and the attendees that navigate all these financial challenges like because with well, yeah we, 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 we have a three we have a three-day investment conference kate and uh okay uh, and we have a huge exhibit hall which includes financial people on estate planning on taxes <laughs> on investing 
Right. Uh, it really is great. Uh, we also have in the exhibit hall pop up ever uh, uh, pop up uh, entertainers who are performing in front of you. We have uh, um, a magician, a libertarian magician who performs. Uh, I have my white mates in two chess problem, and the first person who wins that gets a silver dollar. Uh, we have a huge bookstore. We have literally hundreds of books, uh, various types of libertarian thought and so forth. And uh, so that's, that's, I mean, it's just an exciting trip. We have lunches and dinners. And here's the other thing that's unusual about Freedom Fest. No green room, no place where the speakers hide. Oh, you know how you go to a yes. conference and, and a yes. celebrity speaker is up on the stage and you get to see him, you get to hear him, but you can't feel the flesh. You can't actually meet that person that's because right. they're taken off the stage and they're brought on the stage that's right and but we don't do that and so uh you're going to meet larry elder you're going to meet uh, mike Rowe. you're going to meet steve forbes uh and uh steve moore and john fund and uh, grover norquist and the list goes on and on we have over 300 speakers and uh you just need to track them down and say hello it's great. That's, it. That's fabulous. I mean, it takes a lot to put all that together. That's incredible. It's it's year round. We have a staff of a half dozen people and they work year round to make this a success. And and we try to make a profit. We don't make a lot, but uh, it really is a fun event. So if people yeah. go to freedomfest.com, they can find out all about it. It starts next week. There you go. And then it even has a spark art exhibit too, right? Yes, indeed. And, and in fact, and... Uh, we have several uh, sculptors and artists uh, coming who uh, sell their art and perform art as well. So it really is a there. There's nothing like the buzz you feel when you walk into that exhibit hall. It really is unique. And the other thing I, I should mention is our Saturday night banquet. You know how you've been to lots of conferences where they have a dance band but nobody's dancing because right. uh, they're all talking to each other right, it's more of an right. intellectual get together but at freedom fest after four days of uh, intellectual talk we like to get out on the dance floor and we have a great dance band and right. it really and we we rock and roll we have a great time Oh, I like to rock and roll. I'll dance for hours. That sounds yeah. George super... George Gilder is a big dance fan and he loves to get out there and dance with people. So there you go. Okay. Come on, I'll... come on, join us. I will. We'll be there. You know, as the creator of the Freedom Fest, I mean, there's been moments and interactions that really probably have inspired you. Maybe bring us like one in you know, something that happened there that was memorable to you and affirms the belief in the power of liberty, right? And the importance well, of this gathering. You know, uh, we, we have lots of testimonials from people where Freedom Fest has changed their minds. We've had people who got married at Freedom Fest, who met there and ended up coming back the next year and getting married. <laughs> uh, we've had uh, uh, one, one experience I'll never forget was that uh, we had uh, John Mackey give this speech on healthy living. And the next year, two people stood up separately and said, Mr. Mackey, you spoke last year about how to live to be 100 or 120 right. without uh, getting any of the big four diseases, which is cancer, uh, stroke. Uh, uh, let's see, cancer, stroke, heart attack and uh, uh, what's the other one? It's uh people you know alzheimer's right, right. <laughs> dementia yeah. right <laughs> yeah I, what was it i'm thinking alzheimer's. what was that yeah, thing exactly. we were talking about yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly yeah or diabetes that could be oh another yeah there's big, one you know, diabetes so too, right? how do you do this and he gave this great speech and it's not the necessarily the vegan type of diet but uh -huh. the idea of a combination of, of diet exercise and so forth and he and they both admitted they've changed their lives. They've changed their lifestyles. They feel much better. And they have it's just a huge difference. Now, this okay. year in particular, we have Dr. Matthew Morgan. You know, during the pandemic, what sh shocked me the most is no, no president, no senator. Nobody got up and said, you know, healthy people who are yeah. healthy 
Right. They survived the pandemic. Hello. It's the people who were obese and had the yep. cancers and stuff. They're the people who died. But mm -hmm. so uh, this Matthew uh, Morgan uh, from the University of Utah is an MD, and he's giving a speech on diet, exercise, and getting plenty of sleep and why that makes all the difference. Because yeah. isn't it, it's tragic that all they talked about was wearing a mask and getting vaccinated. Yeah. They're right. dealing with the symptoms, the symptoms, exactly. not how to really overcome the, the disease So exactly. and prevent the disease. So that's, right. that's just another example of the great things that's that right. we have at Freedom Fest that you don't, you don't get anywhere else. Yeah, well, health is wealth. And if you know how to do those things, you won't get yeah. sick. Right. Right. You know, exactly it's, what God your made program it all is perfect. all about. Right. Yeah, so you, sh you should have Matthew Morgan on. He is he is okay. a very dynamic speaker. And, all right, uh, I'm writing that and down. He, Matthew yeah, Morgan. Matthew Morgan, MD from okay. uh, University of Utah Medical Center. All right, we'll follow up and get him on too. You know, I, I think this, I'm more excited now after talking to you too, because, and I mean, you even do yoga and a breakfast. Yes. You know, right. Yeah. You got to do yoga your exercise every morning. in the morning, right? Yeah. Yoga every morning and films at night. And people, the biggest problem is sleep deprivation <laughs> because they're also engaged in uh, our conference. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because it's so high energy to meet like minded people. And from these events, you meet so many other people that everybody, like you lift while you climb, right? Everybody's yeah. helping yeah. each other. It's fabulous. Exciting. Well, thank you for having me on your program. Uh, I look forward to uh, uh, our big conference next uh, year or next yes. week and next year, and we'll see you there, hopefully. Absolutely. I'll be there, and we'll we'll be broadcasting. I know this is right before the 4th of July, and you've got your, your family that's there waiting yep. for you. And it was very kind of you to come on, and we'll try to get this out as soon as we can and we'll keep cycling it so everybody knows about the freedomfest.com make sure you get in the groove here so mark it's been an honor to have you and and look forward to more thank you very much kate take care all righty thank you there's so much to learn about healthy money I hope today's discussion brings you one step closer to securing and protecting your future. So you can get started on the right foot, go to meetwithchrismeller.com and schedule your free financial fitness strategy session. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to Money 911 so you don't miss our next episode, which includes health, wealth, and peace of mind.